I decided now to make this fucking video real quick about why I'm in Thailand and how do you end up in Thailand and how did you even get into this position? So before I was doing influencer, I was a normal guy, bro. Like I work as a technical draftsman and make an architecture stuff. Like I'm drawing like an architecture shit. Like. So then I'm tired of this stuff and I want to move. So I apply for a job in Berlin. And then these guys in Berlin, actually for MacFit, bro, like for MacFit in Berlin, like they have, like, they need technical drafts, planning new studios. So I apply for this job, you know, but I, I just like, I sell myself perfectly to these guys and then they want to give me the job. I'm like, yeah, nice. But before I take this job, I will go to Spain and make holidays in Spain. So meanwhile, I'm already doing Instagram, you know, and then one week or like say one week before all this stuff. I had this video with the alien gains that went super viral. All of a sudden, my profile bumps up from 90,000. So I was actually building for like two years. I was building it up to like 90,000. Okay, I did a lot of this comment for comment stuff and heaps of things that I did, man. It's not even funny. Then I stuck at 90K. That was also the time when I went off cycle again that I don't take anything. Then I was a bit depressed. Then I was partying a lot. Then I take a lot of weird things for parties. And then at one point, I just also decided like, hey, this is not good. And I cut every one of my old friendship off and friendhood off. Everyone I cut off, leave the city and bounce and then apply like for this new job, right? And I want to move to Berlin. So anyways, then we come back, right? Before I take the job, I want to go to holidays to Spain. Man, I'm talking in such a confusing way, but you will understand in a second. Then I'm there and all of a sudden body engineers back in the days came along and these guys were offering me a deal. They said, yeah, hey man, we can offer you this much money for this amount. Like they made some deal for me, okay? And so I decided like, yeah, let me check again. So I, with this new job in Berlin, they want to pay me this much and these guys want to pay me this much, but I can pursue my dream, right? I want to be an influencer. I want to be an Instagram or social media guy. That's what I want to be. Take this. I, I cancel this job and I say, no, fuck it. I'm going to do this Instagram stuff. I have to risk it, you know? I come back home and then I'm, I'm texting one of my friends for a long time. This guy is called Silvio. This guy is responsible that I'm in Thailand. But when I'm seeing him now, I'm just like, really, bro, I would have... Took, took your hand and just guided you a bit more in order to just not let you, not let you f like this. Just anyways. So I then go to this guy to Switzerland and then he all of a sudden has the idea, hey, bro, you know what? We go to Thailand, man. Let's go to Thailand, bro. This is what it will be good. And I'm like, Thailand, man. You know, I was in Spain and Italy before. That was all my holidays I've ever been in my life. Yeah, my mom, when she see this, she would say, no, you've been in the Maldives when you've been two years old. Like, okay, I was there when I was two years old, but I don't remember. So anyways, I go to Switzerland. This guy gets to go to Thailand. Okay, how long? He's like, yeah, let's go for three months. So I'm like, oh, okay, three months in Thailand. So and he's like, yeah, we're gonna do content and videos. And he was like, same as big as me back then, like almost same followers. So maybe I had like 200K and he's like 180K or something. But his problem is that just real quick, he built everything on fake. That's why he's still there and it's, everything is just fake. Don't do fake shit. Just don't do fake shit, bro. That's just what I can say. Uh, especially you cannot cheat online Instagram and algorithms. You cannot cheat. People make their profile look good with a lot of fake likes and all this bullshit. But anyways, so we make content, right? So let's go to Thailand because holiday is going to be epic, man. And Thailand is fucking nice. And this guy had like 10 girlfriends, right? And so there's a few girlfriends of his in Thailand also, right? So we go there to Thailand, we meet up and he's he's been there one day before me. So I arrived there, no plan of nothing, bro. At the airport, go outside, get super scammed from the taxi driver and everything until I reached his hotel. This cunt didn't even come to pick me up at the airport. Then. It's like my biggest flight ever. Like I've never been traveling that far in my life. Then I reached there with zero plan of anything, bro. And the cunt doesn't even fucking pick me up from the airport. He's like, yeah, take a taxi. It's like, okay, bro. Like I don't even have currency and all that stuff. So I don't know shit, but anyways. So yeah, then we come here, Thailand. And then we also, yeah, we do pictures, videos together. Back in the day, there was actually a time where I was natural, bro. I've been natural for one year. And back then we peaked, like we've been pushing each other so heavily, bro. To get in the best natty shape possible. And then we've been super ripped, jacked as fuck, bro. Came to Thailand, took pictures, like nice. Like it started very well. It started very well. But then I found out that this dude is just fucking cheating on me and lying nonstop. Like everything is just lies and fake and stuff. And I'm just like, I can't take the shit anymore. So I'm just like, you know what, bro? F you. I'm gonna piss off you, man. And I'm gonna do my own thing now. So I don't know anything. I'm going from Phuket. We've been in Phuket, by the way, then. So I go from Phuket to back to Bangkok. Go back to Bangkok. I'm there all alone, you know, and then I don't know what should I do. So I remember there's this crazy dude, some tattoo artist from Switzerland as well, that uh, was smoking a lot, you know, and a Rasta guy. So anyway, so I'm like, let's meet him. 
because he's 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 there. So I'm like, yeah, in the evenings, let's meet. Then I meet these guys where he is living. These guys have a tattoo studio here in Thailand, like BT Tattoo Studio, they by the way call it. Like fucking epic tattoo studio here in Thailand. If you ever want to get a tattoo in Thailand, BT Tattoo Studio. Just say. So anyways, then I re meet these guys at this tattoo studio, bro. And they are so welcoming, man. They, they are super welcoming to me and they just take me up like a family member. Like I, did. I don't know how to say this in English, but they just took me like a family member. We sit there eating in the fucking, on the ground. The, the thing is, she's cooking. And then they have this crazy drink, bro. It gets you also super high. So I'm with them, drink the drink. It gets super high. We have a lot of fun. <laughs> it's just nice times, you know. But anyway, so in the end, so... I'm doing content, right? That's why I'm in Thailand. So I do my own thing. Then I stay with these guys for like one month. So every day I go to the gym, I do my stuff, but I'm still in Thailand, I'm in Bangkok. Uh, then, and I live with these guys and it's quite cool, man. Then I went back to Germany. I just try to remember because there's also like, eventually I met someone in between. That was the reason that I just came back that urgently. You know, man, these, with these women, man, they make you do shit, man. Oh my God, bro. So anyways, uh, you, don't, you, you really love that don't award. get caught up huh? with these Thai women, bro. I'm just telling you, wait, where's my rubber band here? I'm going to shoot it at you. <laughs> so then but maybe you get in, in an entanglement, you know, entanglement. Let's just call it like this. And then I go back to Germany, but then it was winter, right? So I come back from heat and sun back into like shit weather and I'm just like, not nice. My Wi-Fi in Germany where I was is shit. Police took my license. That's not good. I cannot drive a car. Oh, police hate me in Germany. Anyways, um, but I'm not a bad man, like as well. Like I didn't do much wrong. It was like just a minor thing. But anyways, they took my license. Yeah. Not that I claimed it back. Then it was cold. So I was like, let's go back to Thailand because that worked me worked quite well for me, you know? That worked well. So let's try to push that business as far as possible. I don't know what business, so Let's just create as much reach as possible, you understand? So let's go to Thailand, man. Go there, rent a room, and then just do your fitness stuff, do content, and push your business. It's like all day I'm sitting there, I'm doing messages like 10 hours a day. I'm going to the gym, I'm taking the videos, I'm coming home. I'm like a call center agent, They're just talking with you in the DMs, commenting back and all these things that I do in order to grow my account. Studying algorithms. That's what I did. And then I sit here for like half a year. And then again, like maybe you meet someone because these Thai women, you know, they like me. And then again, you go back to Europe and then you just see all these frustrated people, man. Like everyone is like depressed as fuck. Like I come back home, you know, and I'm having a crazy jet lag, bro. So I wake up at like 4 a.m. And where I live, there's like at 5 a.m. The bakery opens, you know, and so you can walk to the bakery. So I'm this fun, funny cunt, right? So I walk inside doo -doo 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 -doo, in the bakery at 5 a.m. It's like, hey, man, yeah, can I buy some pretzels and bread? And like, and everyone, they look at me like, why is this, why is this guy so happy? Like, why is he so, how is he so fresh and all this? You know, like, so I got just a bit pissed by the vibe from the mentality of people in Germany and all that. Then I go back to Thailand, man, and I'm getting so many compliments like never in my life, you know? I'm just here walking around, people, they stop with the car, they open the window and say, you. You look good, man. Nice body. Or something like this. Just random as fuck, bro. Like, I swear I got so many compliments here in Thailand that I never ever gotten in my entire life. So that is just makes you feel good. Like, oh, hey. No. Oh, gee. Yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so it gives you a good vibe about yourself and it pushes you maybe to do better in your job and all these kind of things. So I'm super motivated and I'm pushing. And that's just it. And as I look back, I'm like, oh my God, shit, man. I'm now... I'm so long in Thailand, oh fuck. And that's it, there's no specific reason. The main reason is like, I'm not into partying and bitches too much, you know? La. No. So the main reason, shut up. <laughs> good weather, <laughs> good weather. Nice vibes, people's mentality is like chill, dude. Like, this guy is living on the street, have nothing. I come walk by, I'm like, so at the club, like hi. And he smiles back with no teeth in his mouth, like. <laughs> have, but he's still happy, you know, like he's still, he, I give him 20 baht, he's like, thanks brah. Yeah, people are just like more chilled out and stuff. And that's it. And then I realize I go somewhere else and also I'm in Dubai and all that stuff. And I'm getting quite a lot. Um, people, they know me all of a sudden too much, you know. I'm hiding as a nobody. I'm coming to Thailand, I'm hiding. I'm creating hundreds of millions of views of content. Then I go back to some other country, all of a sudden everyone knows me. And it's like, oh my fucking God, like... Me, like, who am I that you want to take a picture with me? Me, I'm just some random motherfucker from Germany, from a very small town. So, yeah, but the vision changed at one point, and I just wanted to make this all bigger and better and everything. But why Thailand? Good weather, good food, cheap food, easy vibes, chill, do like, the weather is good, 
sometimes not much rain and a lot of freedom. Let's say like this, the compared to Dubai is like Dubai has some rules and regulations where you just want to respect the country for what it is and who they are and all this stuff. It's okay. But in Thailand, it's just like as long if let's say the policeman, he could see you doing something super illegal, but maybe he just not very interested. So he doesn't give a f you understand? Let's say in Germany, there's a guy in civil, right? He's partying, but he's a police member. And he sees someone doing something illegal. He would step up and just say, and he would take him to court or whatever, you know, like, I don't know if I'm even allowed to say shit like this, you know, like, let's say like, maybe, you know, like, it's just, I feel like I don't know about police stuff or so, but I feel like here's more freedom. No police is doing a good job here, of course. Everyone is doing a good job, but it's just like, in terms of I can take my shirt off at the beach and all these kind of things where no one bothers me. Like, like, hey, please, can't you take your shirt on? You know, I can just walk shirtless in a fucking 7-Eleven, which is just a bit rude to do, right? But you can do a lot of things here in Thailand with a lot of freedom, as long as you don't piss anyone off. And you know what I mean? It's just like respect each other. It's like, life is good here. I think that is pretty much explaining. I want to go to the US. That's the thing. Everyone says I should go. And I just never been. But probably if I would go to the US in the first place, you know, not to Thailand. So the reason I'm here is some random ass motherfucker Swedish guy, uh, Swiss guy with the name Silvio. A lot of people might then know the story or remember all this shit. I wish him all the best, you know, but just don't contact me again, bro. People that lie too much in my life and they lie to me too much. I can give you one advice. Like sometimes you have to leave people because they are just not good for you and it fucking hurts. But what do you want? You have to ask yourself. Keep pumping, keep pushing, bro. Stay fucking motivated. Uh, bro. And uh, thanks for watching. Adios, amigos. And chicas, of course. Adios, amigos. And chicas, thanks for watching.